YouTube, it's Brian Phillips here. Phoenix 1.6, 2.6 here, Phoenix Evolution. Just got done with our maiden flight, and this thing flew gorgeously. With one exception, there was one detail I didn't like. <clears throat> and that is, I could have sworn this thing was yawing. And so I brought it, brought it in from the car, and I sat and looked at it, and I said, well, that would allow for some yaw that was not expected. So, I remember I had a problem similar to this on my first um, V2 ASW28. So, it's got to do with the way that this attaches. And so I'm hoping I can get these out without problems. I'm going to go ahead and pull this screw out. It's much easier to do it with the drill so far in my experience. Because you can really put some pressure on it. These are crappy screws right here. Okay. So, get those two screws out. And the first thing I'm noticing is that there's just, it's like it's not making a good purchase on this. It's not biting all the way down. So that means I either have this in wrong, or there's just, there's just something not quite right about the, the piece, which is possible too. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this out and just look at it and study it. It doesn't look like anything is wrong, overtly wrong. But what I can say is, what happened on my first one was that these little pegs were too long. I don't know if you guys can see that inside of there. But there's two little pieces that shoot down into here. And they were too long. And it allowed for too much play. And so when I tightened the screws, it didn't suck the wing down far enough because it just it bottomed out is what happened. So the way I figure is I can go ahead and potentially resolve the problem the same way I did with the ASW28 and that is to just mill that down a little bit. So we've got another project going on in here that's unrelated unrelated project and uh, what I need is something I can trim it down with that will be easy and I don't want to do tons of it like with a grinder let's try this first just an exacto knife okay so I'm just gonna try basically all I'm trying to do is get this so that I can pull down tight a little bit more Okay, I'm going to do this with a hot knife because it will be easier to control the cut. It's too hard to hold everything the way I'm doing it. So I'm going to grab my hot blade and I'm going to grab my torch. And I'm painting a little block for a mic stand. It's for my wife. Yes, that's right. I actually do projects for my wife still. You don't think I just work on planes. <laughs> Okay, just a little, little, little sliver, okay? That's toasty. It is toasty, in fact. I don't want to set off the fire alarm. Because there's one right there. That's probably enough to do what I need. Oh, I don't want to take all this crap apart. It's such a pain in the butt. This plane flew so good, I'm just like really surprised with the amount of play that was allowed on here that it didn't cause a bigger problem but it, it just didn't so trying to decide the easiest way to do this I could possibly see this doesn't move this is tight fixed to this but then there's too much play on this fixture so what if I undid down here that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna flip this up so I can undo my rudder my rudder control linkage. Um, slide the rubber back. Pop this up again if I can get the thing to pop open. Which side is it that needs to pop open? This is the correct side. 
Oh man, it's really hard to undo those things. So the way the way you have to undo them, that exhaust vent gets me every time. Is this, and then this. A thin flat bladed screwdriver and then a pair of needle nose pliers too on the small side of needle nose pliers. Okay, so flip the plane upside down. Hold the bottom half, brace it tight. Make sure the plane tips at least three or four times for extra good measure. Get in there, pry it up. Okay. Out of this loose. Ah, just keeps wanting to rotate on me. <laughs> this is why my paint booth needs to be set up for this right now. But it's alright. We're going to do this, guys. It's going to be good. Okay. So now that we have that released, we can get that pulled all the way out. What the pain in the bot? Probably easier to just do this the right way. So now I just need to take a little bit off the inside here. Okay, torch, hot, don't burn your lights, don't burn your house down, be careful all that crap. Nice and hot. Wonderful. Okay, now we will reassemble the assembly and hope for a better outcome and a better result. Okay, so I put that in at an angle, which incidentally, you remember how I had to take everything apart, guys? I think I could have just done it that way. Okay, so this goes up like this. I had it right. I just am thinking it's probably going to be a little bit hard to get these started now because I have that little extra plasticky melty stuff on the edges. Hmm, there it goes. It's, it's aligning. I can feel it. Yes. Yes. Get on in there. Okay, so now at some point I'm going to have to reattach this. I assume this point will be just as good as any other. Soon to be proven wrong. Slip the rubber down. Obviously the servos are going to slip a little bit here. That's not a big deal. I'm not super worried about that. Okay, so now the allowance for play here is what I'm trying to mitigate. So I'm going to, of course, reposition this to a, to a spot where I can hold up against this and then push this down because it's not wanting to seat all the way. You see this, guys? That's crazy how far off it is from where it was like not even close to getting all the way down. That's not cool. I'm sure I'm having so much trouble now. Did I do something wrong? I don't think I did. So now when I put in the screws, that should pull everything tight there it goes I don't know exactly what I did but there it goes now it's snapped in there see now it's flush I don't exactly know what I did but I did something okay now these crappy screws I hate to even put them back in but I'm gonna do it I think I should probably put the torch down. Okay. Problem with these screws is it just, even though they're getting good purchase in the plastic, I'm afraid they're like stripped out already. They're just really crappy screws. There they go.
Okay, so now that they're back in, let's see if we have more purchase or less. See, it's still allowed to do this. It's like a trim tab, guys. Look at how much you can adjust that. That's not a good thing. That's a bad thing. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the extreme obvious, which is going to be to... I'm, I'm tempted to glue, because remember, I've got my battery way back here, so even if I do a little teeny bit of weight back here, um, because I'm just looking at the gap here, and that's a pretty decent gap because you go from round to smooth. I can tape this down, and I can really get good purchase here. With Once I stop that rocking, then I'm happy with it. And I can't do a screw or a pin there just because the nature of the boom. I think the best thing to do would be hot glue, actually. But how do we prevent this from melting? I don't know that we can. So we could mucilage this on here, and that would hold it in position, and then we could tape it, but then you're going to have this strange looking void. So I could also use CA, and I could use kicker, and that would hold it steady keeping it centered while I get my decals applied but then the kicker will adversely affect the performance of the of the sticky on the tape hmm so you guys see my problem I'm dealing with and I'm sure you'll have it too it's it's very you wouldn't have to do anything but when I see my plane coming at me and it's flying at me like this instead of like this it kind of annoys me I want that thing to go straight as an arrow because that's going to be better for efficiency. If you slip a plane, you're inefficient. Okay, so... Hmm. I'm going to think on this and come right back. Alright guys, I know what you're thinking. Please, don't use a hot glue gun on there. Well, yeah, I agree. Except I can't think of a better solution for this type of gluing because there's such a big gap here. You know, and look, I've got it on a high temperature setting, but I have the temperature really low because I haven't allowed it to warm up too much. So I'm really hoping we don't have problems. So here goes a bold move, right? Got to make some bold moves in this hobby. Pretty heavy bold move, too. I'm just letting it taper down to nothing. I can't believe I just did that, but I did. And I'm going to do it again on the other side here in a minute. Then grossly lick your finger. And you got to make sure you do it in a gross way, too. And you're basically going to smooth this like it was a caulk joint. Now this part's wanting to separate, so I'm just going to rip it off with my fingernail. Okay. Now we're going to leave that for a second. We're going to let that bond be for a moment. But only un momentito. We're going to do it very short time. Okay. Now we're going to collapse this. We're going to bring that back in. We're going to go back into it. Okay, that string we can take off in mere moments. I literally have a sink here. I could just use that. Instead of grossly using my spit. It's very hot. Okay, ripping it. This is just a little bit of excess. You can get rid of that. Okay. So there you have it. It's not great, but it's better than it was. Now let's see if it looks good. Oh yeah. It looks pretty decent on this side. This side looks a little bit more slobby. So what I'm going to do is... It's a lot easier to do it with 
a little bit more control over the moisture on your fingers. And the hot glue is getting hotter quicker. I'm thinking I'm probably going to try it again and just get this last little bit filled in. But now I've got some base to go up against. So I have some Q-tips here. Then I can spread it. It's a ridiculous thing to have to do, but I think it's going to work. And it's going to look nice, too. Rotating as I go. This time, wet the Q-tip. Right over the top. Lick my finger. Do that. The good news is it's plastic and foam, so it's either going to melt the foam or it's going to work perfectly. My guess is it's probably going to melt the foam. But the thing is, you can actually correct this with heat. It's just challenging because of the nature of the products that you're bonding. But look, guys. Look. Look. It doesn't move now. So we did what we needed to do. Now we just need to make it look pretty, which is challenging in and of itself. Okay. Taper to nothing. Lay this down. Wet the thing. Wet the other side. Spit. Spit works better. Even though it's much grosser. It does. It's got more lubri lubrication qualities. <coughs> Okay, so I'm not real thrilled with the way it looks, but I'll tell you what, it solved the problem. It filled the gap exactly as I wanted it to be filled. Now I just need to work out how to make it look as pretty as I wanted it to look. Which is probably going to entail using something warm to work the edges. Not a big deal. I can't believe that foam didn't melt at all. Not even a little bit. Um, so here's the thing too, this is why I show you this. I know it's kind of sacrificial in my project, but I just want you to see that you can undo it. And it's not going to damage anything. See? So, a little bit of roughness there. But I'm just going to try it again and see if I can get it better. Even though that side's tended to be a little bit better than the other side. Okay, I want a garbage can here, and I'm just going to go right into the garbage can on top of the stuff so we get that hottest little bit of glue out. By the way, I'm not left-handed, so that was really smart doing that with my left hand. Hot! Okay, that, um, that might be about as good as it's going to get, because I don't want to... Ah, dang it, of course I would track it all over the place. That might be about as good as it gets going to get. 
just for the simple fact that it's doing exactly what it needs to do. It's just maybe not as perfect as I want it to look. And there's one thing I've learned is that uh, function comes before form on stuff like this. You got to make your plane fly right before you worry about how awesome it looks. Making it look awesome is always a uh, uh, something that we strive for, but I'd far prefer to have this stabilizer stay put and have just a, a couple extra grams worth of hot glue back here and a little bit of an ugly joint. I mean, I'd rather not have an ugly joint at all, but I don't really know that that's an option because like this thing, guys, it was just wiggling and waggling like crazy. And uh, you're going to want to end up doing something like that yourself, I'm guessing. It's not really that hard either. Just kind of messy. Just trying to keep that hot glue down by the plastic and away from the foam because that stuff is pretty hot right now. There is a high and low setting on my gun but it really only works on the hot setting. It'll just sit there forever for hours and not ever get warm enough to do anything on the on the low setting. Now we just basically have a taper from fuselage onto the vertical stabilizer. And the complication that we now have to deal with, of course, will be center of gravity next time and whether or not we want to be at this line or maybe move that forward a little bit. And of course, we've added just a little bit of weight. All up weight has increased in addition to those other factors. So. A light glider will generally fly better, but that's not always true. Now, these things are going to get damaged as we land. So I'm just going to put a little dab of hot glue over them too. Now hot glue, of course, we can remove that easily too. When we go to take those things out. If we do. Hopefully we won't need to do that. I think it's probably unlikely before another crash needing to get that out. And I say another crash just because it's somewhat inevitable that there'll be a crash at some point in the history of this plane. Okay, we're just going to fill in this gap just a little bit more. And we'll be done. Let me go finish my project for my wife. That looks pretty good, actually. Looks really good. I think I might not even mess with it. That thing is hot. That thing is very hot. My experience has been that hot glue, left to its own devices, almost never dries neatly. Almost never. Occasionally, you'll get lucky. But if you don't do something to it, it's going to dry the way you don't want it to. So you kind of got to get in there and help shape it while it's still hot. Like this. Ooh. I like it though. The taper from the fuse to the Vertical stab is way better. I'm trying to get away from the light so you guys can see this good. There's a nice little taper there now. And then the same is true here. Nice taper. And then of course the The only thing about it is it looks like the stab is kind of pointed over to one side now a little bit. And that's not desirable. Now the thing about it is even if it is pointed a little bit over to one side, we can trim it now 
before what would happen is as we were articulating the rudder, I think we were moving the whole surface. So it was acting like a tailplane, a vertical tailplane, which is a little bit weird. So I think we're gonna leave it. We'll see how it works next time. If the plane flies at me and it flies in a slip like this or like that and there's not a heavy crosswind, then we'll know that we didn't get it. But for now, I'm satisfied with it. And then one other small detail that I'm noticing after the Maiden is, look how humongous this thing is. That's going to be a <laughs> little bit of a pain in the butt to store. But what a sweet looking plane. I really like it. i got to figure out the decals. I think my wife and I might do some custom decals on it. But for now, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We appreciate you guys being a part of this experience. There's a little bit more to come. This thing has definitely earned some LEDs. So we're going to be doing some nav lights on it. So we'll be doing red and green on the wingtips at minimum. And then we'll be doing a tail light. I don't think we'll do any forward facing lights on this one. But go get yourself one. Check the Banggood link down below. Buy yourself one. Then any of the other accessories and things are listed below. You can help support the channel too. And come back for more. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe.